I think my vector is snoring. Hey, vector. You're snoring in the middle of my video. Go back to sleep. Hey everybody and welcome back out to the friend shop. I'm Garrett Backer with No One's Designs and Horseman of and today we are looking at the BBC Microbit. That's right, this little board right here. Now this was designed in partnership with the BBC to create a platform for children in the UK to learn how to program. And I'm about at the level of a child when it comes to programming, so this is perfect for me. It uses a visual programming language created by Microsoft called MakeCode. It's just a bunch of drag and drop menus. Um, if you can understand logical statements like if-then correlations, it becomes very, very easy to do some really cool programming. So I'm gonna show you how I made the lights for my Proton Pack with this, but before we get into that, Let's take a look at what all comes in this kit. This is actually a pretty robust little kit. You know, you have your quick start guide, your more in-depth manual. The box itself also has some quick start information showing you that it does have apps for both the iPhone and Android. Of course, you have the board itself here. You can see the front of the board there with the little LED matrix and the two buttons and then Back of the board has the USB, a third button, and the power supply in. Uh, it comes with its own batteries, which is pretty awesome. A three volt power supply and a USB adapter for doing programming or to provide it power from like a USB battery brick. Now the one third party peripheral I always suggest people get is this board here from SparkFun. Now this is a pinout board, and what it does is the micro bit slides into it kind of like a, a Nintendo cartridge. And it gives you all of these lovely little pins here to solder to, and labels them for you, which is super, super nice. The board itself, as you can see, has some of these larger pads, and those are for doing experiments with gator clips. It's kind of designed for younger kids to be able to use easier, but they are a pain to try to solder to or do any kind of permanent connection. So this little breakout board from SparkFun is a must have in my opinion. But now that I'm done rambling about all of its cool features, let's show you how you make a program for this. When you go to makecode.org, this is the website that you are going to see. This landing page here shows you the different platforms that MakeCode works with currently. You can see they've got something for Lego, this little robot, um, some arcade system that they're beta testing. You can even program for Minecraft. But the two that will interest prop makers the most is going to be the Circuit Playground Express by Adafruit and of course the one that I'm using, the Microbit. Now if you click on the picture or on the Start Coding with Microbit, it's going to take you over to the programmer. Now to go over this, we have on the left hand side a digital representation of the board. So as you are messing around with making code, it will show you on the board what is happening. Here we have the list of our basic commands and then our advanced commands. And then this whole area over here is where we do our programming. So to give you a simple idea of how this works, uh, the forever block means that. That means what we program here will happen forever. So if we take this block from the basics that show LEDs, put it in there, and we'll just do an X marks the spot. Once you click off of it, program happens. And then now you can see over on our demo board, it has all of those LEDs lit up. Now, if you wanna see what this would look like in JavaScript, you can come up to the top here, click over to JavaScript. 
and it'll show you. That's how you would have to code that statement to get those LEDs to light up whenever power is supplied to the board. Now, for what we do, we need to get a little more technical um, than some of the basic designs. So, one of the first things that we are going to tell this is that we are going to tell it that the LEDs are always off. So, LED enabled forever. LED enabled, false. The reason why we're doing that is because we're going to be reassigning the pins that normally feed these LEDs. The way that we're going to reassign those pins is by coming down to the pin board down here. That's the wrong one. Delete that block. Boop. We want to, anal uh, we want to digital right pin zero two. On digital, there's only two values, on and off. So now, when it starts, it is going to turn pin zero on. What you can do with building all of this out is create a fairly simple code that normally would be much more difficult to do, you know, in JavaScript. To give you an example, this is the code for the pack lights for my Proton Pack. So as you can see, I have disabled the LED matrix up here so I can use those pins. And then I have my forever box here where I'm writing these pins, which is these big ones that you see moving. And it starts off going, we're going to take, you know, I'm working with these four pins. We're going to light the first one. And then we're going to pause for 750 milliseconds. And then we're going to turn that one off and light the second one. And that's how you go through and write a basic chasing program. The bar graph works much in the same way for the power cell. As you can see, I have all the pins that I'm going to use for the power cell listed out here. For the first one, it's going to light. Then it will wait 200 milliseconds, and then it'll light the first two. Then it'll wait another 200 milliseconds, light the first three, so on and so forth, till the bar graph is full. And once it reaches the end, pauses and starts the loop over again. Because these animations just happen the entire time that the pack is on, I don't have to do anything with any of the switches for this program. Now let's solder together a demo. Yeah. Hopefully I've made it a bit easier to jump into the world of doing your own electronics and writing your own code. And honestly, by being able to go to makecode.org and play around with the programmer for zero dollars, this is the easiest way to get into it that I have found. 
Now, if you are interested in the code that I wrote for both my Proton Pack and the Proton Wand Lights, I will have links to those below. Feel free to use those in your own builds. I just ask that you don't sell them or anything weird like that. Well, I think we're coming to a close here on this video. Thank you so much again for joining me. Please like and subscribe, share this video around to people who, you know, might want to give this kind of stuff a try. If you want to see more work that me and my friends do, you can check out our group Horsemen Of. If you want to see more of the things that my wife and I do, you just follow No One's Designs. All the links are going to be down below, and have a good one. We will see you next time. Come on.